Welcome to JGKC Prairieland Adventure Park, a place where there's no limit for your dreams and imagination. Come for the rides, shows, parades, and foods. It will be memorable. Visit all the six wondrous worlds, try all the thrilling rides, collect the stars and win the grand prize. At JGKC Pearland Adventure Park, let your journey begin! Quickly, clean the windows. We are going to open soon. Oh, hi children! Welcome back to JGKC Prayerland Adventure, which will be in town until the end of June. Prayerland is a huge adventure land with six different parks. We want everyone who visits Prayerland to experience the joy and victory in Him. Oh, by the way, every time you visit Prayerland, make sure you earn your visit by scanning the park's QR code. Each week has a different QR code. Watch out for it, scan it, fill in the form, and press send. Each visit earns you a star, and if you visit all the six parks besides the Golden Stars, you will be getting a certificate from JGKC Prayerland Adventure. Remember to earn your visits. Well, children, have you noticed when Jesus was on earth, every day he would sneak out alone, whether it's early in the morning or late at night? Hmm, I wonder why. To fish? To play his favorite video games? Or to hang out with his buddies? No, 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 no. <gasps> he went to pray by himself all alone. When Jesus prayed, he talked to God and he listened to God. I want to be more and more like Jesus, so I want to learn from him. And this is what he says. When you pray, don't show off, but go into your room, meaning go into a quiet place where people don't see you and pray. He said our prayers don't need to be well-worded or long or say it over and over again. But more importantly, it should come from the heart. It should be sincere. So I guess you can pray from your heart however you want. But in this prayer lab, we will specifically explore the Lord's Prayer, which Jesus taught to his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hmm, I know that prayer since I was a child, but it was only when I come and work in this amazing theme park called J.G. Casey Prayer Land Adventure that I totally got it. The Lord's Prayer is like a box full of precious gems and I don't want you to miss it like I had for so many years. So make sure you don't miss any of the Prayerland series. Let's go! What's this? Oh wow, I got the golden token to Nippleland. Hallelujah! God is good! Dad, Dad, I got the golden token! Welcome to Winnie Wonka's Nibbleland. First of all, I'd like to congratulate to all of you for getting the golden ticket. Yay! As you know, this is a sweet heaven full of delicious chocolate, yummy candies, lollies, 
biscuits, and sweet drinks with a variety of flavors. I know that you guys can't wait to explore Nibble. But before that, there are some rules that you need to follow. Rule number one, wear proper and comfortable clothes and shoes. Rule number two, no food and drinks from outside, please. Rule number three, stay focused and don't play with your gadget. Rule number four, don't be greedy. Rule number five, respect God and other participants. I believe all of you are here not by your love, but you are truly chosen by God to have a super exciting adventure in this edible park. So let's unite our hearts in prayer to thank Him for His wonderful blessings. Lord Jesus, thank you for all that you have done to us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. And thank you for everything. Lord, we are going to start our adventure in Netherlands. We want to have fun together. Please bless each and every one of us. Open our heart, open our eyes, and open our minds so we can understand what we are going to learn today. Thank you, Jesus. We surrender all this into your hands. Amen. Now, when we enter Nibelheim, let us praise and worship God together. Are you ready? Let's go! Hello! Welcome to Mini Wonders Nicolette. Let's stand and praise the Lord. Let your heart get pumping, your feet get jumping, and you're spending all your time. On your treasure quest, your heart won't rest, till you have one look so fine. Climbing to the top, tell me we will ever stop. Jesus said to live, give and give and give, so your treasure in heaven may will last forever. Jesus said to live, give and give and give, so your treasure in heaven may will last forever more. Does your heart get pumping, your feet get jumping, and you're spending all your time on your treasure quest? Your heart won't rest till you have one look so fine. Climbing to the top, tell me we will never stop. Jesus said to live, give and give and give. So
Yes, Charlene, I'm so excited for you too. Together, we can be the champion of this month's challenge. Yes, Dad, so many prizes to be won. Here comes the first challenge. It's a memory verse challenge. It reads, Give us this day our daily bread. Matthew 6, verse 11. Do you need help? I got this, Dad. Hmm, what is the best way to memorize this verse? Oh, I know. Let's do sign language. All right, friends, let's do this together. Give us this day our daily bread. Matthew 6, verse 11. One more time. Give us this day our daily bread. Matthew 6, verse 11. Now, I'm only going to be doing the sign language and you'll be seeing the verse. Challenge accomplished! Let's go to our final challenge. Dad, I heard it is real difficult. Let's go! Here comes the final challenge. Let me see, let me see. It reads, go through the labyrinth and find the golden bread. Golden bread, wow. Yes, Dad, golden bread. Exciting challenge. Are you ready, Dad? Hey, hey, don't go too fast, girl. Wait for me. Go for it! Hooray, Dad! We did it! We found the golden bread! Golden bread! Golden bread! Golden bread! Charlene, stop it! <laughs> this bread reminds me of the earlier Bible verse. Give us this day our daily bread. What about that? This verse is a part of the Lord's Prayer. Now the Lord's Prayer looks to our needs. The first need is covers is give us today the food we need. Often, this verse is translated as give us this day our daily bread. This request to the Lord asks that God would give us the physical things we need to live. This part of the prayer shows us that it is okay to ask God for the things we need. We need food to live healthy life. The Israelites were spread across the desert, setting up tents, preparing food, and beginning to grumble. Forward, they marched. Ahead of them, they faced a long and difficult journey across a desert, through dangerous territory, but they were bound for the promised land. As the Israelites' food supplies started to run out, they began to fear where their provisions would come from. One of the miracles God did for the Israelites was to provide them with plenty of food. This food came from the sky, floating down every morning like heavenly snow. Manna was tasty, but the people really hungered for meat. So God sent them quail, which is kind of like a small chicken. A huge flock of these birds swooped into the Israelite camp and the people started grabbing them. There was so much food that everyone had buckets of quail to himself. Water was another problem. They needed water to survive. One time, God simply told Moses to touch a rock with his staff. Instead, Moses was so angry with the complaining Israelites that he not only hit the rock, but he did it twice. When he did so, water gushed out providing a river of clean, pure, refreshing water for the whole nation to drink. God's guidance and protection resided with the Israelites, and He gave them victory. On one occasion, Moses saw that when he had his arm raised, the Israelites started winning. 
but when he lowered his arm, the enemy gained. So, with the help of two other men, Moses kept both his arms raised until Israel won the victory. Traveling this long through the wilderness brought a lot of problems. Often the people grumbled against God and Moses. God punished the people by sending a swarm of poisonous snakes, which bit the people and made them sick. But even when he had to punish them, God was merciful. He told Moses to make a snake statue. Anyone who looked at the snake statue would be healed. There were a lot of lessons that God's people had to learn. Through all this, God still loved them. He always gave them enough food, enough water, and even kept their shoes and clothes from wearing out during the long and difficult journey. They would continue to wander through the wilderness for 40 years. The word daily bread is not only about food, but also about the money that we have, the clothes that we wear, and most of all, the family and friends that surround us. Remember, everything we have comes from God. God gives us the clothes we wear, the food we eat. He gives us the family and the friends we love. He gives us grace and mercy for our sins. God is the only one from whom we can get anything we need. God will meet our needs today. His grace is sufficient. Let's repeat today's power statement. God will provide everything we need. One more time. God will provide everything we need. Hello children. I am Winnie Wonka, the owner of Winnie Wonka's Nibbleland. You've been looking around every corner of Nibbleland and I'm absolutely sure that you have an amazing experience here. Now, I'm gonna choose one winner for this special award from Winnie Wonka's Nibbleland. I've seen all of you during the whole journey and I already have a name here. The winner for Nibbleland's special award is... Congratulations, Shirley! I chose Sherlyn because she has good manners and beautiful heart. She shows simplicity and actually, she kinda reminds me of myself when I was at her age. Wow, what a time! Now, sit tight everyone because I'm gonna tell you a little story about Winnie Wonka's Nibbleland. Do you see how big Nibbleland is? It's overflowed with chocolate and candies all the sugary stuff that will never seem to run out. You might think it's always like this since forever, right? Nope! When I was a kid, my family was poor and we can barely afford our daily needs. Hence all the expensive toys and clothes. But my grandpa always taught us the Lord's Prayer. One part that hit me the most is, give us this day our daily bread. As a kid, I always want more stuffs, more fancy toys, more clothes, more foods, but we couldn't afford it. My grandpa reminds me that God will fulfill our needs. Matthew 7 verse 7 till 11 says, Keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks, finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Grandpa told me that God, who is perfect, loves me more than my family does. If my parents know what's best for me, so does God, and even more. It's great to know that we can go to God knowing He will give us the things that we need, not only want. I'm going to show you a video of my grandpa's friend. He showed me this video. Check this out. Selamat kepada anak-anak di pelayanan sekolah minggu di GBI PRJ di Jakarta. 
Saya mahu sharing mengenai Matius 6, 11. Yesus ajar doa bapa kepada murid-murid. Berikan kami hari ini makanan yang secukupnya. Apa makanan yang cukup? Waktu kami di perlaman, satu suku yang sangat terisolir. Tahun-tahun pertama kami lihat anak-anak yang umur 1, 2, 3 tahun selalu meninggal. Dua per tiga. Dua dari setiap tiga anak meninggal sebelum mencapai umur tiga tahun. Karena makanan tidak cukup, kurang gizi, air dari sungai yang mereka minum tidak tidak bersih tapi kotor, dan selalu mereka dapat muntah berek sampai meninggal sebanyak. Apa makanan yang cukupnya di kota sekarang? Kami uh, hidup dengan 12 anak di rumah dan kami makan sekali sehari. Kami tahu itu cukup dan kami berikan yang terbaik kepada anak-anak kami juga. Kami berdoa setiap hari, Tuhan, apa yang kami perlu hari ini, berikan kepada kami. Mungkin sagu, mungkin papeda, mungkin apa yang bergerak di hutan kami bisa tangkap dan makan. Dan itu cukup. Tuhan selalu mencukupkan, tidak ada yang kurang. Dan saya harap adik-adik di Jakarta bisa bersyukur kepada Tuhan atas semua yang dia berikan, makanan yang enak, makanan yang bawa gizi dan kesehatan, dan bersyukur setiap hari. Terima kasih Tuhan memberkati. Do you remember the story when Jesus fed 5,000 people with five bread and two fishes? The bread and fishes keep running over and over. Until everyone satisfied, they even got something to take away. But the next day, they keep following Jesus because they want to keep asking for the miracle and the bread. Then Jesus answered them. Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Jesus tells us something very special in this verse, that He is the bread of life. We all need food to keep our bodies alive, but Jesus tells us there is something we need even more than food. We need Him, we need Jesus, to live good and healthy lives. When we pray, give us this day our daily bread, that means we rely on God day by day. That God is our provider. He provides everything we need because He is a good, good Father. When we ask God to give us bread, we are not only asking for real bread, which is food for our tummy, but we are also asking for spiritual bread. Hmm, what does it mean? That means Jesus. Jesus is our spiritual bread. Day by day, we need Jesus to give us grace upon grace. And each day, we need Jesus, our daily bread. Why Jesus teach us to pray, give us this day our daily bread, not give me or give my family or my friend only. Because God wants us to not only pray for ourselves, but also others. Earlier we learned that there are some people around us and maybe in our own church that may not have food all the time. What about them? Doesn't God love them? Oh yes, He does! God loves them and He wants us, His children, to be the channel of blessings to help them. These are all great ways to help people in need. As we help give people get the daily food they need, Let's keep in mind and tell everyone we meet that Jesus is the bread of life. So we pray that Jesus give them food for their tummies and also food for their spirit, which is Jesus himself. From that lesson, I learned to rely on God day by day and not only asking for the bread but also the spiritual bread, which is Jesus. I also want to share with others his blessings. So I open this video on Cos Newland. So don't forget, God will provide everything we need. You got it? One more time. God 
will provide everything we need. Okay everyone, I hope you had a fabulous moment here. Before you continue your journey to the next part, let us pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, we want to thank you because you are good in our life. Lord, as we learn today to pray, give us this day our daily bread. We pray that we rely on you day by day. Lord Jesus, we are not only asking for food for our tummies, but also food for our spirit. That's Jesus, the bread of life. Also, please use us as your channel of blessings to those around us. We thank you because you are good and you are enough for us. Your grace is sufficient for us. You will provide everything we need. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. It's quiz time! Number 1. Today, we learn about A. Our Father in Heaven B. Your Kingdom come, your will be done C. Give us this day our daily bread D. Forgive us our sins Number 2. Why does Jesus teach us to pray to give us our daily bread? A. So we know that we have to rely on Jesus day by day B. Because we have to remind God that we need food daily C. Because we have to eat bread every day to stay alive D. All correct Number 3 what does the bread in the Lord's Prayer mean? A. Real food for our body B. Spiritual food for our spirit C. A and B wrong D. A and B correct Number 4 Which story in the old statement that shows we have to ask God our daily bread? A. David and Goliath B. Jesus fed 5,000 people C. Manna for Israelites D. Moses part the Red Sea Number 5 When we ask God to give us the food we need, that means we are acknowledging that everything we have comes from God. True or false? Number 6 What does it mean that Jesus is the bread of life? A. We need Jesus to give us grace day by day to live a healthy spiritual life. B. We don't need food anymore if we believe Jesus. C. We will never feel hungry in our stomach again. D. Jesus will fulfill all our wishes. Number 7. Why do Jesus wants us to pray for others too? A. Because he can't feed all people in the world. B. Because they can't pray for themselves. C. Because Jesus wants us to be channel of his blessings for others. Number 8. Today's power statement is A. God will fulfill his promises. B. God will provide everything we need. C. God will provide everything we want. D. Give us this day our daily bread. Thank you so much everyone for joining with us today in Winnie One Cast Nibbleland. We hope that you're blessed. Don't forget to collect your stars through the QR code. If you have any questions or prayer requests, you can contact us on this number. Don't forget to join us again next week. See you and God bless you!